Hello everyone! Welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Millen and I am a software engineering student at Carleton University in Ottawa, Canada. Today, I will be going over some commonly asked mathematics questions at mostly the high school level. And if you're interested in getting help with your homework or if you're interested in tutoring, check out the links in the description below. Cool. So, let's get into this mathematic magic. I'm gonna switch over my screen real fast, like this. Cool, and let's get this math party started. Okay, so the first question that we got on the menu today, it's fairly straightforward, it's asking us how many fluid ounces are inside one gallon? Okay, so a fluid ounce is, um, you know, a fluid ounce is a, a moderate amount of liquid. So one fluid ounce one fluid ounce is a measure of volume. Of volume. And how much is a fluid ounce in terms of actual volume? Maybe a mouthful. Maybe a, a small mouthful or a half mouthful of liquid. So around a mouthful, um, a small mouthful. A gallon, one gallon is significantly larger. This is another measure of volume. In terms of how much is a gallon in terms of volume maybe it's comparable to like a basketball in terms of volume uh, maybe, maybe even a little bit more so comparable to a basketball a basketball around, around the same size of course it's not gonna be like perfectly on the mark but um, you know it's 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 similar so to convert between the two is um, a factor of 128. Okay, so if you want to go, um, if you want to do a conversion, because just knowing how many uh, fluid ounces are in one gallon, you know, that's good and all, but it's, it's better to be able to do the conversion. So let's say we want to do fluid ounces. It's two gallon conversion. So we will take our our fluid ounces value, and that will be let's just call that x for now because of course it's going to be what you sub in um, yourself. So let's say we have x. Um, Oz is the symbol for ounce, and we know that there are 128, or in one gallon, we have 128 ounces. Okay, just looking at the units. You know that something, one unit um, divided by itself, or anything divided by itself is one. So the ounces up here, we can kind of treat ounces, or any unit for that matter, as if it's kind of like a mathematic, uh, mathematical variable. And which means like if you divide by yourself, you, um, you know, equate to one, and you can basically neutralize yourself. So uh, this, will, this will just be x over 128 um, gallons. Okay, so an example of this, let's say we have, uh, you know, 2.7 ounces, and we want to convert that into uh, gallons, so that's one gal per 128 ounces. This will be 2.7 divided by 128. And asking my handy dandy calculator that because I don't know that off the top. 2.7 divide 128, and that is um, 0 0.02109 gallons. Okay, so that, that'd be how you convert um, a certain number of fluid ounces to a gallon. You just divide by 128, and to go the other direction for uh, gallons to go to. Um, 
fluid ounces. So converting gallon to fluid ounces conversion. You do a similar procedure, except you're multiplying instead of dividing. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you how that's done. So let's say we have um, x gallons. Oh, no, nope, we're starting. Wait, never mind. We are starting with gallons, so x gallons. And then we want to multiply it in a similar way to um, the conversion fraction. Okay, so we have 128 ounces, fluid ounces. By the way, fluid ounces and mass ounces are not the same. Um, it could be a little bit confusing that we use the same word for both of them, ounces, but um, you know, that's just the way things are. Uh, even if it is a little bit confusing, um, I feel like it'd be better to have a different word for ounces for mass and ounces for uh, for volume, but you know, I don't make the rules here. So here we got um, to do the conversion. Like as you can see, uh, where it's the same procedure of like we cancel out the units, so it's just going to be one twenty eight times x ounces is in one gallon. So an example of this, let's say we have three gallons. Well, we're going to multiply that by our one twenty eight ounces divide uh, per one gallon. And you can see that, you know, the gallons cancel out, leaving only the ounces left. So we have 3 times 128. And that would be 384 ounces. Okay, so that, was, that would be how you do conversion um, between fluid ounces and gallons. But you can convert between any unit that measures the same property, um, as long as you know their conversion factors. And then just looking at the units, you can tell how these conversion factors should be used. Okay, so this procedure, like we did this for fluids, fluid ounces and gallons, but any two prop, any two units that represent the same property, you can do this procedure on. So if you're doing mass, you can do kilograms to um, kilograms to pounds if you wanted to. Uh, that's a common conversion. You can do kilometers to miles. That's another common conversion. You could do um, light years to millimeters. That would be another conversion, probably something that you won't see, but it is possible. Nothing stopping you. Um, you can do that math if you want to. And yeah, that'd be exactly how you uh, convert between your units. Just know these unit um, conversion factors set up the units properly and they should just leave you with a single unit on your output okay so yeah that's a that's a fun time so um the above solution is good however could be enhanced with um some examples of conversion between ounces and gallons